Okay, today is Friday, October 25th, 2019, and uh, we're looking at the uh, Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We can see we've got a couple of weather systems. This was the jet stream a couple of days ago, and we can see that the, the high pressure that was installed right along the edge of that jet stream flow has actually helped to create this low. This is a gale force system. This is moving north. And right here we have a 965 millibar storm system right here off the tip of the Aleutian Island chain. Uh, this is moving in a sort of a easterly uh, trek. Now over the uh, southwest U.S. we had very clear skies today near the uh, foothill communities in the uh, Southern California area. There was no uh, trails in the skies. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, Yesterday, in that video yesterday, uh, we had uh, a moisture field moving down from the from the north, and of course we had a, a no rain forecast. And what that means is that the jets are dispatched, these specially equipped jets, and they spray they spray the atmosphere with the uh, the aerosol haze, the uh, chemtrail aerosol haze, which is a desiccant that is sprayed high above the weather, much higher than the weather. The weather is uh, up around you know twenty thousand feet. 20 to 25,000, but uh, these aerosols are sprayed at 35,000 feet, well above the weather, and that uh, there's a reason for that, so that the these uh, these artificial I'm not going to even call them clouds, but that's uh, what some people refer to them. These aerosols spread out and they cap the atmosphere and prevent the lift. So once again, we have to have two components for the precipitation process. We have to have lift in the atmosphere and we have to have moisture in the atmosphere. So we had the moisture moving down uh, and we saw that on the map and of course the jets are dispatched to spray the skies and this prevents the precipitation in the southwestern U.S. It's not as effective, the spraying is not as effective when you get up into Alaska and up into uh, Washington and up in this area but it, nonetheless it does still uh, regulate the amount of precipitation. Now we can see right here we have a lot of high pressure. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, the uh, ocean prediction, the surface analysis map. This is from the Ocean Prediction Center. We have this hurricane force system right here, 965 millibar. This is moving to the uh, east, northeast. And this uh, other gale which is moving north, these will probably merge. But you see that purple occluded front right there. That's where the transmitter, the satellite transmitters are actually working on the vortex of this system to break it down. Same technology, the same operations being uh, sometimes used on hurricanes here on the west coast. Over on the east coast, uh, some of those hurricanes um, were allowed to plow into Texas and Florida and different places. We have the technology to completely neutralize hurricanes and that is not being used uh, to the advantage of everyone's uh, safety. Uh, it's it's uh, being used to capitalize on uh, weather derivatives and other uh, things that have to do with rebuilding and construction and uh, all that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and look at the National Hurricane Center map. Right now we have two systems. This is uh, Olga in the Gulf of Mexico. This is delivering a lot of showers and thunderstorms to the uh, Louisiana area. This is a tropical storm with 40 mile per hour winds central pressure of 998 millibar and this is moving uh, north northeast at 18 miles per hour we can take a look at that right here on the doppler map we can see uh, new orleans right down here louisiana so zoom it out a little bit we can see uh, that's uh, delivering quite a punch to the uh, alabama and mississippi and louisiana areas a lot of very uh, strong thunderstorms Okay, let's uh, zoom out to the west coast. We see zero precipitation as usual. Offshore, we see a very strange uh, feature here. Looks like there's some precipitation out there, but uh, nothing on the map that, that would uh, indicate uh, that. There's nothing here showing up on the map, on the water vapor map. Now, uh, the wind has died down for the time being, but uh, we were told that 
there may be another wind event. We'll uh, stay tuned for that. Doesn't look like there's anything in the uh, on the map here that would indicate a wind in the next 24 hours, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. See a developing weather system right here over Texas. That's the area of showers that we were just seeing there on that Doppler map. We can go back and take a quick look at that once again right over Texas. Right there, right over Oklahoma and part of Texas. Right here. Okay, just a short report. Uh, there, here's the uh, infrared map. We can see some uh, water vapor sweeping down here on the infrared map through Oregon. You folks in Oregon, if you're, uh, we saw the map just a second ago, there's no precipitation occurring anywhere on the west coast. So that would mean that the people in Oregon are probably seeing their skies sprayed over to prevent this moisture from delivering any rain. Let's go back to that Doppler map real quick once again and uh, zoom over to Oregon. And of course there is nothing happening rain-wise in Oregon. So I would be willing to bet the farm that uh, people in Oregon are seeing their skies sprayed over as preventing the rain, causing drought conditions. Okay, so we'll just wrap it up here and uh, try to get another update here real soon. Okay, that's it.